Lord Crusader. Oh, wow, he's the right here. The prophet is here. Oh, this he's is just Edward. arrived. He seemed to know you were coming, told me to wait for you, and here you are. Come. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. No feat you have accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. You are an embodiment of Pelinul Whitestrake, the bane of Umarul the Unfeathered. The time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Umara lies hid in the ancient fane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. I am ready then? No. Should you face Umaru, you would suffer the same fate as Pelinal. But times change, and even the shape of the divine itself must change with it. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them, and they have become nine. You mean tell us. Aye. With the apotheosis of Tiber Septum, the face of the divine was transformed. Talos ascended, and the eight became <laughs> nine. So, although you wear the armor of the gods, it is incomplete. A relic of the old ways and the old gods. As a proven guardian of this realm, and a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia, Talos grants you his sacred blessing. With the ancient gifts of the Eight and the new gift of the One, you are ready to face Umaril. It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm upon his death. It will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, utterly and for all time. You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Pelinal learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. But you can do what Pelinal could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not. Because the Nine fight with you. I want to know about Umaril's spirit. When Umaril joined with the Daedra, his spirit expanded beyond this realm. His physical form can travel between realms, but his spirit is bound. When his body is destroyed, his spirit travels back to oblivion and is reformed in the fires of creation. With the armor of the gods and the blessing of Talos, you will be able to follow him where Pelinor could not and destroy his very spirit. Once his spirit is destroyed, he will be completely obliterated, erased from all realms of existence. Garlas Malatar was the westernmost outpost of the Aeliad Empire. It watched over what we call the Abyssinian Sea. 
Since his return, Umaril has taken Garlis Malatar as his lair. That is where you must seek him out. Umaril cannot be bested in his physical form by any normal means. His blows can strike down the mightiest of warriors in a single stroke. The Eight created the relics to withstand Umaril's fell power. Do not attempt to face him without this divine protection. Your knights will assemble at Garlis Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. Greetings, wow. Sir Knight. Wow. Okay, that's kind of, you know, that's a, that's a lot. Sir Knight, allow me to introduce myself. I am Brelin of Sylvanar, at your service. I come to offer myself as a knight in service of Oriel, or Akatosh, as he is known in Cyrodiil. I bring nothing but my skill with the blade, which is not inconsiderable, and my devotion to the Lord Oriel. Will you accept me, as unworthy as I am? I shall accept your I am unworthy to join the weird under your illustrious face. command. Excuse me while I go to the armory and attire myself as befits a This knight guy's of hairline is afraid of his eyebrows. Okay, they're all running off and we're headed to the coast. Oh god, okay, we don't want to fight these guys. Ow! Please, no. Please, no, skeletons. Okay, they're not following me. Good. Good. Very good. There it is. The final countdown. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Okay, I think I need to be wearing all the armor. Am I? I think I am, right? Maybe. I've got the Daedric stuff. Oh, the helm. I need to be wearing the helm. And I think we're good then. I've arrived at Garlis Malatar. My sworn foe, Umaril the Unfeather, awaits me inside. The final duty in my holy quest is to find him and destroy him. I never understood that. My sworn foe. You know, I guess I'm the leader of the Knights of the Nine, but is he? I don't know. As a player, I don't really feel like he's my sworn foe at this point. He hasn't really done much. He's desecrated a few temples, but that's about it. And can you really fault a guy for desecrating a few temples? I mean, really. To battle! Okay, my goal is to keep these men alive. Nine. Not sure how uh, reasonable that is. Ow! Ow! What the frick? I accept your surrender. Hey! Guys! Guys! What is going on here? Is this. Oh my god. My old guys are killing each other. What the fuck? Like what? <laughs> I, I run a band of idiots.
What the heck? Well, let me. Oh, because my sword's gone. It got stolen, right? Did you think who I am protecting you? I'm on your side. That guy just hit me. <sighs> no! Yield, god damn it, yield! These guys, man, they're just, ugh, completely retarded. I don't know what that does. Or did. Oh, there's more. Look at this, we got a whole band of people. Better and Mara. Oh we are killing these dudes. I don't think I've lost a single guy yet. Oh, I'm about to though. Crap. Crap, I need some fatigue back. Ow. I'm on your death twice, you hit me. Sorry. Oh no, we lost one! Aww. Oh, we lost two. Crap. For the nine. For the oh my god. Is it more? What the fuck? Where are these guys coming from? Stop! Oh my god, my own guys are attacking each other again. Ah, <sighs> Daedric Bow, Daedric Longsword. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, we'll get rid of the glass bow. That gives us a bit of breathing room. And we'll get rid of all the crappy arrows. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really reaching now. Oh no. Let's heal a bit. Crap. Oh man. You know what? Let's drop all these soul gems. I don't need them. I don't use them for anything. And then we can do a bit of alchemy here, real quick. I'm a scientist, baby. Okay, no, no more flax seeds. Carrot, corn, daydraw teeth, this green stain cap cup. This leak. Oh, the pumpkin should create a bit of room. This is such an interesting combination of things. Daedra Heart and nothing. I should probably get rid of the Daedra Heart, honestly. Ectoplasm. Elf Cup Cap. Fire Salts. Oh, Flax, we're out. Ginseng. Nope. Parada. Oh, here we go. Oh wow, this actually doesn't create anything? That's weird. Usually double makes something. Okay, that got rid of a lot actually. Uh... Crap. 
I need to get rid of 20, uh, 30 something, 32, I think. What if I... Hmm. Crap. Honestly, I think I just need to drop some of this. Some of this danger stuff's not as good. Gauntlets of the Crusader 5. Boots. The boots. Oh, one second. I'm gonna repair real quick. There we go. Now we have an accurate representation. Boots 5. Danger boots 5. We don't. Have uh, curse 15. This one's 12, so we'll keep that. Greaves 9. Greaves 9. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And we should be good. Perfect. Would you look at that? Let's go catch up with my men. And women. And women. Don't forget the women. Did I get a Daedric sword, by the way? Oh, I did. Daedric Longsword 26. Wow, it's actually works. Drop the Daedric Longsword. Here we go. I think this is it, maybe? Or not. Wow, they're obsolete. Look at Let's get out of I don't like the looks of this. Let's go. For the nine! the nine! Oh, 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 the nine! the nine! the the nine! the nine! the nine! the the nine! the the nine! the the nine! the the nine! Oh wait, did he like Oh wait. crap. They're being like resurrected. Forgot about that. Just in case. Don't need more stones. Hello? Boomerang? Where did everyone go? Didn't seem like they died.
up. I have 14,000 gold exactly. That is really weird. Hello? Oh no. Oh hey. This, that looks like Uberwolf if I had to guess. <laughs> destroyed Umaril's physical form. If the prophet told me true, I must cast the blessing of Talos on myself and I will follow Umaril's spirit to a place where he can be destroyed. Easy. Umaril's sword. 101 damage? What? Did you see that? Oh, 26. What? Why does it say 101? That's not right. I don't have enough space for it anyways. There's no point in really taking it even. And it's two-handed. Why would I want that? Yeah. Let's go see what all the Umeril had. In his little throne room here. A couple of Welkin stones. Wow, not much. He's a real minimalist, is that, uh, Umeril. Let's save. And then, oops, wrong button. Blessing of Talos. Uh, fortify strength, fortify endurance, strain speed. Damn, 15 points. And agility, 15 as well. I guess we don't need speed or agility wherever we're going. destroyed. I've completed my holy quest. Crusader, arise. Stand and face the light. Breathe again and receive your reward. You have completed your divine task. You have restored the order. You have defeated the enemy of the Nine. The order shall serve as the sword and the shield of the Nine in the dark times to come. We owe you a debt of thanks. You have succeeded where we could not. You and your knights have held true to your purpose. At long last, our purgatory is at an end. We go to the glory of the Nine to serve in their host in the life beyond this one. You may call upon our spirits when you need us. Simply pray at our tombs and each of us will grant you 
a blessing from the Nine. May your sword serve the Nine all the days of your life, Crusader. Farewell. Um, okay. What? You got, you forgot him. You redeemed my soul from the evil that had ensnared me. For that, I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seems so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? The Knights of the Nine stand together once again. I would not have thought it possible. We owe you a great debt. The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory Steps. I baited him, knowing his temper, and then I killed him when he drew against me. I killed him in cold blood with the Holy Sword itself. I could have disarmed him or wounded him. But a cold pride had taken hold of me, and so I slew him, and went to war, and never returned. The evil grew upon me until I became cruel, a tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than in life. Thanks to you. That all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Etheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. I took the sword down with me into evil. You have redeemed us both. The gods smile on such deeds, noble knight. Goodbye, Sir Kai. Go er, Sir Baron. with virtue. And now he rests. Dubella has strengthened your wit, charm. Never allow the beauty of the world to be lost on your eyes. So that is... If I could place all the relics... Oh, damn, look at that! I'm not wearing anything. Crap. That's actually sick. I want to take them all, though. I'm not giving them. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? That looks so cool. I like that. Looks even better on me, you know. Look at that. Look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty. What? You can't wait down here? That's weird. We're off. Hmm. Lord Crusader! Hello? How can this be? You, you're you alive! It's a miracle! I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate! You vanished in Garlis Malatar. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. Indeed, they are. We knew you had succeeded in destroying Umeril's physical form, but it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrake. Tell me, was Umeril destroyed? Uh, I severed his very soul. 
or I destroyed him utterly. That sounds badass. I never doubted you, Crusader, but I must tell the others that you're alive. So slow with the blessing of Talos. Knights of the Nine, hear me. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro, by the grace and mercy of the Nine, the Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaro forever! Hail the Lord Crusader! Hail, Hail the Lord, 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 Lord Crusader! Is arisen. Commander. Hail! Commander. Look at this. Look at my Yes, knight Commander. Knight. Bunch of beasts. I'm honestly amazed more of them didn't die. The last time I played this, every single person died. There wasn't one left. Not a single human being. So, uh, that's it for Knights of the Nine. I'm honestly amazed it took exactly three hours to complete. It's pretty crazy, but uh, that's it, guys. Um, pretty short DLC. Definitely shorter than um, Shivering Isles. I'm assuming I played it like maybe two hours of Shivering Isles, and it seemed like I wasn't even close to the end, so... Um, it's safe to assume the next part should be a bit longer, uh, but thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in another episode. Peace out. I don't know what the hell.